Hey guys, real quick one. I just wanted to do um, kind of a response for a question I just got. Um, I'm going to try to do stuff like that just to kind of make it easier because sometimes I get typing a response and then I don't have like, I'm trying to figure out how to word it. And it's like, you know what? I'll just shoot a damn video. <laughs> um, so like on an upland, when you're skin, uh, pinning the wings, I'm skinning some today. That's the only reason I'm kind of have it available. Um, it's the same process as like waterfowl. You still do the pin, you know, in the elbow equivalent. You'll work out the feathers, you know, move them out of the way. It's, it's the same, same exact thing, pin in place. And then on the sides, the difference with them, if I can get him to set, is what generally is the problem is the primaries and tertial secondaries. You'll either have you know, you don't want extended, you want to kind of come to a triangular kind of point. So what I like best is to use a hair clip, the small one. I'm doing one hand, so just keep in mind. Um, from there, I can put, uh, let me get it. And then you just pin this part into the body. So if you're having, say, the tail is going to be down, the wings are going to be, the primaries are going to be above like this, or you can pin them down a little bit more if the tail is going to be up. See what I'm saying? As long as, as long as you're the clip, you can, because if you pin in the wing, generally what will happen is as stuff, if you're working it, stuff will start to droop like the primaries and stuff. So if you can get the pin to kind of go through the clip, hold on then that, you know, we'll hold that in place and then that's good. Then the other problem is, uh, let me get my tweezers. I wasn't prepared for this, by the way. Um, you will need to make the cut here. So the scaps, where the scaps and the wing feathers, there's that line of skin, make an incision there and then run like a uh, the other end of the exacto or scalpel or whatever in there and kind of get that out because those will tend to pinch. So you want to make sure that they kind of can come up and over like on a real bird. Last problem is with the wings themselves. When you do this, see how the, I guess, would it be the elbow? I don't, um, I guess, no, this would be the elbow. This would be the wrist. So I misspoke. It's pin in the wrist. Um, this is you're going to want to, you know, kind of get the scaps and then lift the elbow joint up kind of more on top of the back because otherwise it's going to droop. And so while this may look good and it may be pinned in the right spot, you got way too much back showing. And if you look at a lot of upland, uh, generally they, the feathers kind of work up kind of in succession like this and then they then they droop down if that kind of makes any sense so then here the scaps would be um let me get the nape see so it's just kind of so sometimes i'll pin right here in this bone uh joint um the only problem that comes from it is you get kind of a uh, some feathers will stick up from when you pin it so they'll kind of be some of the wing feathers Honestly, you can just clip those with uh, at the base with scissors, or you know, put it up there. And then if and then the other thing with upland too is then if you need to uh, grab and stuff here. So normally I just get a piece of cardboard on a pin, and then kind of just put that in there, just to kind of press press down a certain area if needed. And um, but I would say that would be the biggest thing is just the clip to hold the feathers, kind of as a taper down, obviously the pin is the same here because just like on a live bird, um, you're just putting it where it was going to go anyway. Um, side pockets, all that stuff will be normal. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's, that's kind of pinning, I would say upland, how it differs. Um, waterfowl, I guess it, with a lot of them too, waterfowl, you can kind of normally I'll suggest putting like a pin down here. So there'll be one pin here, one pin there, and that kind of controls the primaries. Um, with upland, especially you're dealing with like quail, um, ptarmigan, 
grouse, smaller birds, you know, you really don't need to do that as much. I don't, I don't feel anyway. Um, but hopefully that helps. Um, I'm going to try to just make a few, get a few kind of questions answered. Um, that way, uh, anybody in particular can, uh, kind of get their thing answered, hopefully, and it'll help a little bit. But for Upland, I would say, and even, I would say even waterfowl, one thing with waterfowls, a lot of their, uh, tertials, um, sometimes they kind of droop a little bit more. So it is kind of species by species, but I would say with a lot of the Upland, you just don't, you just don't want that like this. You see that a lot of mounts where it's like, it's just straight down because this bone because this isn't kind of up a little bit more like that. And then that way when it comes to a point, but it's kind of going round as opposed to just straight down. So anyway, thanks guys.